Hello, everyone, and welcome to this amazing PC game. It is made with 100% orange juice. Take my word for it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, would you special guests would like to introduce yourself? Okay, I guess that's my cue. Uh, I am Press, and... Nothing really fantastical. I'm just some guy who likes playing 100% orange juice. It's a fun game, and took up the offer of playing with these three cool people right here. So why not? Let's have a go. Yeah, that's right. This guy's new. All right. So <laughs> other, 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 the other two people. I'm a connoisseur of orange juice. I like how it tastes. <laughs> and I'm the person who can who actually works in a juice bar, in reality. Oh wow! So it does work out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so um, most people, I've streamed this. I've streamed this game like a few times before, and uh, most people come into my Twitch chat, uh, kind of ask me, "WTF is this game? This looks really <laughs> retarded." Um, when is Uno? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so um, if you're from, if you've played. Mario Party games, or basically most, or basically any other board game, it's basically it's basically what it is. Um, it follows the concept of those of those board games. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start from my save file because my save file has all the boards. Um, so um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, sh and show off that um, uh, because I am playing off uh, off of my uh, my save file. Um, I already have uh, basically most of the characters. I have all the boards. Um, and uh, you can go here in the shop, and you can you can uh, use the currency that you get from this game to get some nice goodies, some nice accessories, boards, characters, uh, and basically just to make the game look nicer. Um, and uh, well, with all that being said, um, let's, we're gonna go ahead and go on to free play. We're gonna be showing off all the boards in the game. Uh, it's gonna be a nice four-player action. So let's go ahead and create the lobby. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this. I'm gonna call and call, call the lobby name OJLP, and uh, what should the password be, guys? I'm fine with whatever, really. Just uh, choose something. Just, just orange. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Whatever. No, I'll be, I'll be a bit too obvious. <laughs> Have an orange with a Z at uh, the end of it. Or oranges, oranges, what? Orange with a Z at the end of it. Oranges with oranges, Z, orange. Z, E, okay. D. No, no, this is one Z, as in one Z. Oh. Spanish. Or, 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 so orange is Z. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and and have the have uh, the effects on uh, on a uh, rant with a uh, we're gonna have two random effects as well as a mystery effect. Uh, random effects. Uh, we'll, we will go over the effects as we get into the game. Um, so. Uh, for now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start off our first board on practice field. So we're gonna go ahead and go into descending order here. So um, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I just made the room, and I have to wait for these guys to join. Okay, oranges. So yeah, there's a lot of effects oh. in this game. Um, there's actually gonna be a lot to explain, uh, but uh, we're gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna really spend most of the time uh, explaining everything because I do. Because I do want the um, the this LP to be to, to be fun. Um, so we so we will be explaining um, stuff as they go. Uh, but, but obviously, but of course, we're not gonna be spending mo um, most of it on the explanation. So wait, am I putting the password correctly? I, okay. I thought it was. There just... you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, good start, guys. <laughs> All right. So, um, so we're gonna. So we're. Yeah. Let's get. We're starting off in the practice field, and um, now we're gonna go ahead and begin. Um, so on this screen, we can go ahead and choose all the cards that we want to play. That we want to play in the game. Um, uh, cards will have. There's a lot of cards in this game, and obviously we're gonna be expl explaining them uh, as we use them. Um, you can actually set your own deck. 
uh, which I'm going to be using my set deck that I have planned out for uh, each game that I, that I usually play. Uh, there's also various characters. Um, a lot of it, though, you get from... Well, you get characters from unlocking... From uh, playing through the game's story, uh, buying the DLC, or buying certain games that are that, that have some connection to 100% Orange Juice. Um, and we're and each, each character has their own different abilities, so we will be we will be um, go ahead. And we we will be playing basically all these characters um, mm -hmm. through, through, throughout the duration of this let's play. And there's a lot of boards, so this is going to be a pretty long let's play. So who are we who are we going to play as? Uh, I already chose my character, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the ready button. Just whoever really right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna yeah. go with an E. Yeah, we're we're we are, we are allowing ourselves to use any character that we want to play. Okay, gonna go with a sim simple character. All right, and uh, <laughs> the game randomly generates a turn order, so this is our turn order. Vince is first, Hayden is second, I'm third, and Press is last. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the practice field. Um, there are four different spaces. We have a green space, a yellow space, uh, a blue space, and a purple space. Um, there's, uh, I've already done, like, a lot of the talking, so do you guys want to go ahead and start explaining stuff? Green spaces give you cards, which is a natural ability you can use. Um, it's also why you set up your deck. You can get cards from your deck and your opponent's deck, and also other cards. you also got one, um, hyper card that's applicable to you, your character only, but other characters can get that card through special means. That's right. Red spaces get you into a mook battle, which is a battle between a chicken, a seagull, and a robot. Uh, each time you beat someone in battle, or mook for example, you get one win to your win count. Every time you beat an actual player, you get two wins to your win count. That's right. Uh, so when the event just came in here is Mind Layer. It sets up a random trap. Um, mm. Field effects. Yeah. So yeah. Th so this is our uh, first ex example for field effects. Um, there's also bases. Um, bases. Every base. Every character is uh, correlated to their own base. Um, if you can, if you pass your own base, you have the option to stop at your base. Or uh, and um, uh, bases. Whenever you stop at a base, you heal up. And um, depending on how many stars or kills you have. Um, you can gain a level known as a Norma, and the objective of each game is to get five Normas, and, uh, well, basically, pa well, basically hit a base five times, um, and, uh, well, gain five Normas, if that makes sense. Well, what's the required conditions? Yes. So, it's so basically a Norma race, and to, uh, win in this race, basically, you gotta... For the first Norma, it's pretty much always 10 stars, like we're doing right now. Yeah. You go to your house and Norma up. From there on, you choose between more stars or wins. And it progressively requires more and more stars or more and more wins, depending on what Norma you're at. Now, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I lost my train of thought, but... <laughs> do, you want me to, do you want me to list um, Norma's FX? So every time you start off with star normal, which is you have to collect ten stars to get your first normal. After that, you have the choice if you want to put between wins or stars. Yeah, so as you can see right there, stars. Yeah. chose wins. So you, you can, can tell by what is highlighted whether they're going stars or wins. Yeah, at the bottom there. And if you hover over their character, you can see that they need, uh, you know, this specific condition for their norma. That's all right. So as you can see right there, Press does need it needs to kill two enemies in order to reach his next norma. Um. Well, Normal completion rate is for stars it's 10, 30, 70, 120, and 200. And for wins it's 2, 5, 9, um, 14. 14. Yes, and 14. Yeah. And so so keep in mind, uh, would you like to go or me? Mm -hmm. Should I go or you? Um, uh, okay, I'll just complete what I said, sorry. Uh, so, keep in mind, stars are something you can lose. You can lose half of your stars when you get KO'd, but wins are a permanent gain, even though they're tougher. So, you oh. gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright, so this is our... Uh, Alright, so we've encountered this already, but this is a ba this is what a battle's like. Uh, so, the person who triggers the battle goes first. 
Um, and uh, they roll they roll an attack. Uh, they roll an attack dice, and the other person has to either defend or evade it. Um, as you can see, Vince tro chose to evade the the seagull's attack, but failed it. Uh, so basically, um, evading has a bit of a risk to it because if you roll less than the attack roll, then um, uh, you then you basically take all the damage of the attack roll. If you defend, then you take uh, whatever your defense roll, oh well, your attack roll, the attack roll, your the opponent's attack roll minus the um, your defense roll. If the defense roll is higher, you still take one damage. Yeah, you'll yeah with the defense you're always gonna take uh, one damage. Uh, what's risky about evading? Is that if you tie the attack roll, you're still gonna take the the amount of damage that the attack roll lands. By that, uh, one damage. Mm. Yeah. Each character also has personalized stats for the attack, defense, and evade, and also resurrection rolls, which influence number generation. That's right. Uh, so as you can see, um, Vince and I are both playing as Siguri. Uh, Siguri has a plus one attack and a plus two evasion, which is actually really good, but unfortunately, minus one defense. Um, there's there's this curse going around where if you try to defend with Siguri, you're always going to roll one, most of the time. On your defense rolls. Yeah. Um... Sora has a um, is similar with Siguri except with uh, neutral defense and plus one evasion, and then finally Hayden's playing as an enemy character known as the Robo Ball. Um, I I think he knows more more of that character than I do, so I'll, I'll let you take it. It has a shield. It has a shield, yeah. <laughs> that is true. Its hyper ability is basically to absorb damage and then transfer that damage into attack. That is that sound that does sound pretty powerful. No! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god the luck! Yes. Look at the highest roll. Uh, okay, so um uh just letting you guys know you you are gonna be hearing some of us be kinda loud because we are we tend to be kinda competitive when when games get really intense, because they are going to get intense. So yeah. Also, to explain one another thing really quickly, it's this um the game at the moment is during a Valentine's Day event. Oh yeah, that's so right. Yeah. The oldest right. chocolate you see in held this is not applicable to the game. It's more a, coll a collection for the event. Yeah. So yeah, we were playing this during the Valentine event, um, which um, uh, you're we won't really get too much into that. So you're gonna have to play the game through certain throughout certain times of there are certain days of the game um, of the year. And you get hmm. some, some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, the game's community is still pretty strong. Yeah. Despite being out for, what, eight years now? Sounds about right. Eight years. <laughs> oh, <Ouch>. man. <laughs> oh, man. That's well, nice. Welcome um, to the club where I got killed by the seagull. <laughs> So um, every um, every turn you do get a certain you do get stars you do get bonus stars, um, and uh, every I think it's every five two two chapters I think you get you keep you you'll gradually get more stars at the beginning of each turn. Also, another thing we didn't cover is. Enemy bases. You can't. You can't specifically stop on an enemy base unless you, get, you, you roll the number to land on the base, or if there's someone on that base. You can always stop if someone's on any panel if you challenge to fight them. Yeah. So since um, uh, Hayden and Press were both dead, um, what they have to do for their turn is they have to um, roll, get a uh, they challenge a revive roll and. Um, uh, depending on the character, every character has different resurrection times. Um, if you roll that resurrection time, uh, that resurrection roll, um, then you you get up. Then you can get revived to full HP. Um, also, another mechanic: every time someone reaches their fourth norma, um, the boss space activates. Oh yeah, and the bosses—they're not third? fun. <laughs> wow, we have the boss twelve chapters in. That's fast. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Bosses are not fun to deal with. I'll just say that for right now. Uh, I, I can't farm mooks anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if only there was a helpless robot you can attack. Sadly, there is not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, this time. <laughs> you keep uh, going after Max. Uh, well, they have more stars. They're bigger. Uh, uh, okay, uh, good. Oh. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, help me. <laughs> wow. Help. This help is, me, Satan. This is, um, absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Oh god, here comes the armor to secure oh, the kill! No, 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 you have to evade the- ah! <laughs> There it is! <laughs> well, Hayden hey, cut, cuts in and kills Max. Okay, I'm up. So yeah, um, so to continue off of the- So to continue explaining revives, uh, or, well, yeah, resurrection rolls, um, it, whenever- if you fail to roll your resurrection roll, uh, then- uh, the resurrection roll uh, number decreases uh, each time until it hits one. If it hits one, then you just revive automatically. I rather Over. not land on any of those. Revenge? This is bad. <laughs> okay. Can I snipe? Also, Comes some characters. Rebel, guys, come on. There. <laughs> <laughs> I got my wins, so nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my um character's natural ability too is when defeat the player who defeats Manly gets one win. Yeah. Instead of the two they would get for the thing to yeah, play. So that's uh, another thing that some characters have in addition to uh, stat having uh, certain stats and certain uh, special cards known as hypers. Uh, so yeah. Uh, most most of those characters are usually gotten by DLC. Um, Some are Bible NPCs. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me show you the boss. I hate also, right now, all those stats. Yeah, all the characters we're playing as right now are selectable without finding the DLC. Yeah. Uh, Vince's yeah. version of Shiguri is still the base Shiguri, it's just a different costume that you can buy. The cuter version of Shiguri. Um, every character, you can actually design your own character by a certain by buying certain accessories from shops, um, which is why which is why our characters look like these. Yeah, unit color, hair color, cosmetic, accessory. Hmm. So I'm just playing Sora, but you know those two Suguris. One has re uh, reindeer uh, antlers. Other has hats. Yeah. yeah. So you just get you just get those with simply just buying them or just from playing playing as those characters enough times. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> not, 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 very, not, you die. not very lucky. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> uh, wow. Also, every character has their own special theme song whenever um, they're whenever they get a Norma. So. Um, the music does will frequently change um, every once in a while. They last until the next person gets the next gets to their, their normal. Also, every time you land on your base, you'll recover one HP. Yeah, that works for any base. Uh -huh. well, that's that's good. What effect home roll that trap? You wanna know what that trap? Okay. Oh, okay, that's it. There's one down. That was a good trap. So yeah, so this now now for cards. Every card has, there are, I believe, five different types of cards. There's a boost card, a battle card, a hyper card, a trap card, and event cards. Um, battle cards are cards that you, that you use in battles. Event cards affect, usually, usually affect the entire board. Um, boost cards affect uh, your stats, uh, and then hyper cards are designated to whatever character you're playing as. And then trap cards you just lay them on the you lay them on the board in hopes that somebody lands on it. And in in most cases, trap cards are bad. You don't want to land on them unless you know what they are. Um, 
Yeah. There are also more recent gift cards, which give an effect just for holding them. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, the card that I had earlier, uh, which I don't have anymore, is actually a card that's exclusive to the, the Valentine event that we're playing on, unfortunately. I mean, it's only applicable to chocolate-based combat, so... Yeah. Oh good, I'm not dead. <laughs> mm. uh... No, that's a boss space that you're on. Yep. <laughs> no, I don't feel like... Oh I'm my wrong. god, what a boss. I don't want to drop, but... Yeah. What to do? Uh, I mean. Hey, you have lost stars anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my... Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! oh, my god! Yes. oh. 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 Counterback! Counterback! Oh, oh my, my god. god, dude! Dude, that's like the third time, man. All those sixes. <laughs> And now, with my perfect 120 stars, I get the next armor! <laughs> uh, so to explain stats, um, in battles, um, I, uh, I rolled a 6 when I evaded, uh, Press's attack, uh, but, uh, with the, but because Siguri has plus 2 evasion, um, it, 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 I do, I do get that evasion bonus and get the 8. Alright, let's go! Oh no, a challenger! Oh, that, that's oh, mess, well, dude. Damn oh, it. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Alright. Uh, also, when you kill an enemy, uh, when you kill a player, you gain two wins. So, um, if you're going for a win normas, that uh, players are usually really good to farm off of. Alright, take this. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this will work. Damn, it can't select myself. Oh. Wow. That's not. Uh, that didn't work. Uh oh. Alright, come here. Negative one evade. Oh. Uh, can't dodge. Evade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get up! And uh. Gen's on. Ah, uh, they're gonna win. Huh. Good timing. Oh. oh god! No, yeah, okay. not And four. Oh. You oh, probably should wait until you're closer. That was Shigeru's hyper. Basically, it gives her I win. plus two to every action for that turn. And also, game's over. <laughs> yeah, you actually, yeah, you, um, dealt, yeah, Siguri allows you, Siguri's hyper card allows you to roll double of, uh, basically. Double dice for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's actually really powerful. Uh, especially for, for, for battling. And, uh, that's the end, and, uh, that is what happens when a player wins. Uh, so the game just ends just like that. Uh, you get a bunch of stars depending on what you do, depending on what happens in the game. Whether you died or well, you, you get stars for surviving, not dying, defeating a boss, um, and a bunch of other things. So, uh, with that, um, that is gonna be it for this um, episode of 100% uh, Orange Shoes. So I'd say that was a pretty good game. What do you guys think? You were so lucky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Do not worry, guys. There is still a lot more boards left, so um, it is uh, still anybody's chance to get a bunch of wins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The robot should have won. <laughs> <laughs> robot in disguise. What's right. not in disguise? It's robot. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys on the next board. <laughs>